What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Baxcalibur and Storm Drain Gastron meta team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Baxcalibur, this pseudo legendary is definitely one of my favorites. I really do like its design and I absolutely love its typing of dragon and ice. Now, this Baxcalibur right here is rocking thermal exchange with the loaded dice as an item, making icicle spear and scale shot hit four to five times every single time, which means big time damage from Baxcalibur. Now, Baxcalibur also has Ice Shard for first-turn priority, alongside with the Ghost Terror type and Protect. So, a pretty strong Pokemon that we're going to be using a lot in today's video. Like I mentioned already, we already have Storm Drain Gastron on today's team. Storm Drain Gastron is so strong, especially with this moveset of Earth Power, Clear Smog, Yawn, and Protect. You can put Pokemon to sleep, you can do some stab damage, and then Clear Smog is just phenomenal, especially up against Pokemon that want to boost your stats. Most likely... Don Dozo is one of those culprits, so we'll be using Clear Smog if we're going up against any Don Dozo teams today. Now, Gashon also has Storm Drain. It's got the Citrus Berry, Fairy Terror type, just such a nice bulky Pokemon that works well on a lot of different teams. Now, our final four Pokemon on today's team, like I already mentioned, it is a meta team, so these are all meta Pokemon. Sneasler, Volcarona, King Gambit, and Rollaboom. Rollaboom, doing Rollaboom things. I don't even need to explain it. King Gambit has Defiant and is a great physical attacker. Sneasler, Big time physical attacker with Unburden and the Focus Sash, and it also has coaching. So if we want to coach up any of these physical attackers, we could do that. Bulk Run is going to be a great special attacker for the team. Kind of glue it all together with Flame Body and Leftovers. It's got Heat Wave, Giga Train, Quiver Dance to set up, and last but not least, it has Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Bax Caliber and Gastronon team. First match coming at you guys, and before we actually hop into the battle, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys want to check out the team more in depth or get the Pokey Paste to the squad, head over to his channel. Link will be down in the description below. But we're going up against a Houndoom team here in match number one. And Houndoom, such a dope Pokemon. Fire and Dark. They also got Dragapult with Rollaboom, Alola Ninetales, Hitmon Top. Such a dope Pokemon. And then King Gambit. So they could intimidate us. They might even lead that, which could get kind of annoying. So I might just want to lead like King Gambit to kind of counter that if they do want to end up leading that. They could end up leading Ninetales as well. I feel like a few different options are kind of just sitting on the field. But definitely want to go King Gambit here. Um, I could go real boom, fake out my own, and maybe just like U-turn pivot out. Right, you got U-turn, right? You don't have U-turn. Don't. We could go Volcarona. I like this. I like Volcarona here. Let's do it. Let's go Volcarona, King Gambit. I think that works solid. We'll bring Bax Calibur in for late game with Ice Shard first turn priority. That could work well. And last but not least, we could go Gastron. I mean, Gastron's not bad. It's only attacking move is going to be Earth Power, which will be super effective onto the King Gambit and the Houndoom. Hmm, do I want Gastro? I could just go in with like Sneasler. Let's go in with Sneezy. Sneezy just rips, especially with the Focus Sash. You can't really go wrong with it. Can't really get wrong with it with the Focus Sash. Yeah, I was thinking Gastron, but then I was just like, meh. Maybe, maybe we won't use Gastron. It's not looking too good. But I got you guys a nice little fun fact of the day. By the time I'm recording this on November 3rd, it is National Jellyfish Day. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I actually looked for a uh, a Tentacruel team today, but I, I didn't have any luck for National Jellyfish Day. But nice little fun fact. One to mention, November 3rd, National Jellyfish Day. Not like I knew it. I kind of just like opened up my Internet Explorer. And on the news page, it just popped up National Jellyfish Day. So I was just like, all right, cool. I'm with that. I'm with that. But hot start for us on National Jellyfish Day. We got ourselves a nice little defiant boost. Now, obviously, we could just go into a... We could just go into a sucker punch and rip up into this, uh, this Dragapult. But I believe it's going to swap. It's either going to swap or it's going to go into a... What's it called? It's either going to swap or, I don't even know, protect? Because him on top might just fake out King Gambit. But at this point, I'll do this. And I'll go for a Quiver Dance here. Yeah, we're going to Quiver Dance. We, we want that nice little speed boost. So he's going to end up withdrawing Dragapult, just as I suspect it. And we're going for a Quiver Dance and a Iron Head here. So he's going to swap into Rillaboom, which is totally fine. I got Volcarona on the field. We're not going for Sucker Punch, which is a beautiful sight to see. And Quiver Dance popping out here. So no fake out either. Looks like he's going for a close combat. So bye-bye King Gambit. Most likely. Bye-bye King Gambit. We should Terrastalize. Bye-bye King Gambit. We should Terrastalize. 
I thought he was more so going for fake out, but the fence is going to drop. Um, they could fake out with Rillaboom right here. Hmm. Could rip up into Bax Calibur right here. Few different options. Um, I think we are going to go into Bax Calibur. I just think it's going to be our play. Force them to kind of fake out one or the other right now. Um, because I'm going to throw a Heat Wave. I'm going to throw a Heat Wave and probably go for an Icicle Spear. Might want to terrestrialize our Bax Calibur because if they're going to fake out anybody, I would think it'd be Bax Calibur. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually rip an Icicle Spear into this slot because I think Robo might even terrestrialize. So I'm going to go Ghost Terra. I am going to send a Heat Wave. I got Quiver Dance boost it, Special Defense boost, Special Attack boost, Speed boost. We're not sitting in a terrible position, but having that, what's called, could have been so clutch. Having that Defiant King Gambit, because that thing does some damage. It does some damage, but I really thought they were going to go for Fake Out instead of Close Combat. So we'll hit this Ghost Tower, which could be great for our back caliber. And they're going to end up going into a Terrestrialization of themselves with Rollboom, which is pretty good. Pretty solid. No, it's him on top. Oh, that's weird. So him on top going Steel Terror. That's fine. We're ripping heat waves. Are you faking out my Volcarona? That's the question. He is going to fake out the Volcarona. So Volcarona gets faked out. Icicle Spirit launch. And hopefully him on top is going for a close combat into Bax Caliber. Because I would love to drop a heat wave with my uh, Volcarona. I really would. Now, Icicle Spirit doing great damage, even though it's not very effective. Him on top is going to go for a Rock Slizzle, which is not looking good because Volcarona doesn't survive. But I got leftovers. And I could just protect another turn. And probably take out Robum here. Yeah, I'm going to protect because I, I, I need to get all this stuff. I need to get all this stuff because I'm not trying to deal with... A grassy guy just KOing me here. Can't really deal with it. Rock Slizzle. Really hurts the soul that they faked out my Volcarona there. But just gonna protect it. Get some leftovers. Get some grassy terrain HP. And there's the grassy guy block. So they block up on the grassy guy. Bax Calibur outspeeding this. Hit him on top. He probably just wants to go for another rock slide. I don't think he has too much, but we're gonna be able to get rid of the roll boom here. Or we should be able to get rid of the roll boom. Uh, so we might need a 5-hitter. We might need a 5-hitter. If not, we can Ice Shard it. Did we just get a crit? No, we didn't. That one just did some nice damage. That one just did some nice damage. But beautiful. We get rid of the roll boom. That's a good sight to see. And probably going for another Rock Slide here. You are. Alright, now the real question here is... Do they go back in Dragapult? That's where we sit weird. Because Dragapult's super fast. I'm hoping Volcarona can outspeed it, but I don't believe Volcarona can outspeed it. That's my issue. That's my issue. But I can always Ice Spirit down, which could do some nice damage, but I don't think it's going to half Dragapult. Be cutting it close. It'd be cutting it real close. So I still have Sneasler. They're going to go into Houndoom now. Who has Flash Fire. We know he's got Flash Fire. Um, right now, we're fastest on the field. Actually, are you fashion hounding? You should be, Volcarona. You're plus one. I still have Sneasler. I know Flash Fire's not looking good. Hmm. We're still gonna rip a Heat Wave. And I'm just gonna go into Scale Shot. Let's see how much damage we can do with that. I know you're Flash Fired. I already know you're Flash Fired. I already know this. Helping Hand's gonna fly here. You're probably looking to go for Heat Wave yourself. Volcarona's gonna go first. Who's dodging this? No one's dodging it? Cool, alright. So we're gonna power up his fire moves. That could be a little rough, especially if he's come for Heat Wave as well with Helping Hand. But I'm hoping my Bax Calibur can just outspeed. Maybe pick up KO and then this could turn into like a 1v1 with Dragapult, but that's not looking good. Bax Calibur does outspeed. How much damage are we doing here, Bax Calibur? Oh, that's some good damage. That's some great damage. Get a crit there too. Oh my god, I love you, Bax Calibur. I love you! I love you. Okay, so... Dragapult's their final Pokemon, and they quit. Okay, we were going to win that one regardless, because my thought process here was Dragapult's their last Pokemon. We got Baxcalibur. We got Volcarona. He'll probably use Dragon Dart to KO our Volcarona. Maybe our Baxcalibur survives, but even if it doesn't, we send Ice Shard, and we almost half its damage. Then we just go into our Focus Sash Sneasler and win the game. So, thank the Lord. They canceled the match. 1-0 to get things started on National Jellyfish Day. 
So guys, hot start for your boy on National Jellyfish Day. We're rocking out. We're 1-0 going up against a Bramble Gas team with Talon Flames. So we got to watch out for that Tailwind, Wind Rider kind of combo. They also have Glamora. They got Golden Go. They got Garchomp and T-Tar. So really strong combo right there. Um, no Intimidate user, which is good for us. I mean, I got a lot of physical attackers, but who do I want to lead here? Who would I like to lead here? I mean, T-Tar Garchomp could obviously be one of those plays where it's like okay that's rough um i could go back to caliber and i think back caliber is a solid lead just because of like the multiple different leads that they could have like bramble gas t-tar guard chomp and back caliber kind of counters a lot of them so i'm gonna go into back caliber here um bum, 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 bum. hmm do i go sneezy with it i mean sneezler's good but the problem is like the sandstorm damage just takes away its focus dash which which we don't like which we really don't like. Um, well, I think they would want to set up maybe like a Tailwind here. I really don't know what to do. I think we're going to end up just going with Sneasel. Like, if we get rid of Focus Ash, get rid of Focus Ash. So be it. We'll, we'll go King Gambit, and last but not least. we go to Slug. We're going to go to Slug. We're gonna go with Slug. The Sea Slug on National Jellyfish Day. Like slugs are, or sea slugs are kind of like jellyfishes. They both live at sea. That, 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 that's a similarity. We'll, we'll take that. So, like I said, looked for a Tentacruel team. Didn't have any luck. I mean, who uses Tentacruel anyway? But yeah, I tried for you guys. Don't worry. But still, always remember, make sure to thank a jellyfish today. It's their day. It's their day. But Talonflame Golden gonna come out here for the lead. We got Bax Caliber and Sneezy. Um, issue here, big time issue, is I think this Talonflame's Cover Cloak. Really don't want to touch it, really don't want to mess with it. I am going to rip an Icicle Spear. Maybe even, hmm, Scale Shot. No, Icicle Spear is a little bit better here. So I'm going to send this, um, I'm just going to coach up Baxcalibur. I'm coaching up Baxcalibur. Maybe I should Terrasize Baxcalibur in case it to make it rain, but let's see. Let's see. Brave Bird's just gonna launch. We're focus ashing. Now we're unburdened boosting. I like this. I get off coaching. That's fine. You didn't get off Tailwind. Now, if I can get off this Icicle Spear with coaching, we can just get rid of this Talon Flame and not have to worry about Tailwind, which is great news. Little coach up. And back Scalibur outspeeds, which is great. This should KO. Yeah, you're, you're gone. Get on out of here, Talon Flame. So Talon Flame's gone without a Tailwind setup, which is pretty good for us. I mean, if I had to guess. Golden Go probably wants to go for a Make It Rain, right? Is that, is that what you're doing? Is that your plan here? Yeah, that's your plan. Excalibur, you soak? No, you don't. I should terrestrialize him. I should terrestrialize him, but I don't think we're sitting in a bad position. I mean, him not getting off Tailwind actually is fine for us. His special attack is dropped. I mean, yeah, I probably should have terrestrialized Excalibur. But I think we're still sitting in a decent position. We got King Gambit. We got the Sea Slug. We could start yawning away. I'm not too worried about the Golden Go right now. I think it's going to swap because it is minus one. And he probably thinks we're going to sucker punch it. But I'm not going to do that. I might just target down this right slot and just attack it. And deal with the Golden Go later. They're going to go into mm, Glamora. Glamormore. My arch nemesis, Glamora. Who could have a grass move. Ooh, you could have, you could be rocking energy ball. You could be rocking energy ball. Do we want to thrasize Gastrodon? Yeah, I think so. I think your final Pokemon's gotta be Bramble Gas, right? So honestly, again, I think you swap. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna thrasize you in the fairy. Mm, fairy's not that good. I'm just gonna protect and see what he wants to do. Let's protect first. Let's protect, because I, like, very great Terra, but with Golden Go on the field, like, very, no. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I can't do that. So I'm just going to protect the Gastron. We're going to target down this Glamora. We'll see what he wants to do with Golden Go. He's not going to swap it, which is kind of odd. Kind of odd. He's going to Earth Power this slot down. Make it Rain's going to launch again. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind this turn. I don't mind this turn, because King Gambit soaks really well. Kind of looks like he wants to rip Earth Powers, but we're KOing this thing in one shot, so... Now, Golden Go is forced to not swap. Which is huge, because it's minus two. So we can kind of just leave that Pokemon, let it be. 
while it's minus two. And maybe just target down this right slot. Depending on who it is, I think it's Bramblegast. To be honest with you guys, I think it's Bramblegast. And no, it's instead it's Garchomp. Now, since you do have Garchomp on the field, we're going to be pretty much forced to Flying Terra. I'm going to rip a Caltech leave in this slot and just double down with an Earth Power. Like I said, Golden Go. These are Pokemon right now. It's minus two, so it's special attacks dropped significantly. So, I mean, if we just target down this Garchomp, we could be sitting nice. Plus, I do think that there is a hot chance that they want to go into, like, a ground move into my into my King Gambit. And he's going to go into a Fire Terra, which we got Earth Power launched in that slot, which is great news. But we could have Terra Blast. But I think he wants to launch a ground move, so we're going to go into Flying Terra. Look to win this game. So, the start for us that we had, kind of iffy, but I mean, it worked out fine because we took out Talonflame. We allowed them not to set up Tailwind, and we kind of just played around this Golden Go. Yeah, I probably should Thrasalize back to Calibur, but everything's working out fine because using Terra here is really, really powerful for us. So there goes a Dragon Claw. Decent damage. We still have Citrus Berry, which is great news. Make it rain. Again, not doing much here. Not doing much at all. Actually triggering our Citrus Berry. And now you're minus three. And I honestly think we just KO this Garchomp and we, we win this game. So Citrus Berry, the Sea Slug, going back up to green. We love to see that. Caltech Cleave going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Half damage, Earth Power. Take it away. Get rid of this Garchomp. Get it on out of here. Let's go. That's a big time KO. And that pretty much wraps up this game. I mean, again, Golden Go now minus three. Not doing much. And I can just spam Sucker Punch because they can't Thrasalize until King Gambit KOs this thing. So thanks for playing. Thanks for being here. Solid match for us. We're sitting 2-0 for today's video, and they end up just canceling it. Can we do it? Can we go 3-0 and grab ourselves a perfect record on National Jellyfish Day? I sure hope so. Going up against a Hisuian Zoro team, which gets me every time. Every time. I fall for it every single time. They also have Salamence. They got Sneasler. They got, uh, who was that? Sinisha. And rocking out with Titar and Bax Calibur, just like us. So, how do we want to play this one? They have an Intimidate Pokemon with Salamence. So, it kind of, like, makes me want to lead King Gambit. And to be honest, King Gambit is just great all around here. Just gotta watch out for that Sneasler. Sneasler, slight issue here. Just a tad bit of an issue, but we'll find ways around it, deal with it. But I'm gonna lead King Gambit. Who do I lead with it? Could lead my own Bax Caliber. I could just go Sneasler on my own. Like, coaching boost is just ridiculously strong, so I am gonna end up doing that. We have the fake out option as well. Bax Caliber, a great Pokemon. And last but not least, do we go in with the Sea Slug again? I don't know. I don't know if we go in with the Sea Slug. I mean, they have Salamence. Screw it. Sea Slug, get on over here. Let's do it. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, Sea Slug. We're going for a nice little perfect record. If I lose, I lose. I'll take that one on the chin. But hey, we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, which is awesome. So we're looking for that perfect record right now. Let's see what they end up doing. Let's see what they end up leading. If it's Salmon, we get that nice little Defiant boost, which is huge. And it is Salmon. Unless you're Moxie, but I think you're going to be Intimidate, right? I think you got to be Intimidate. Is that a correct statement? Oh, yeah. Defiant boost so i could coach up here which actually might be nice and get that defense boost i could just start ripping like into the salamis slot i could fake out turn one and just gain some attacking ground you could have flamed on our salamis i'm gonna fake out the back caliber and attack the salamis that's going to be my turn one play. We're just going to read out what they want to do here. Because they might even swap. So we got the Defiant Boost. Start off hot here. They might even protect Bax Calibur. Just because of the Steel Typing. Staring him in the face. He's going to withdraw Bax Calibur. That's fine. So Bax Calibur with the withdrawal. He's going to go into... Is this Sneasel of their own? That's fine. If Sneasel's Focus Ash, we take it off. Which is great. And Psychic Fangs can launch. And we'll Sash up and get her Unburdened. Make that all day. I'll take that all day. Unburn and boost me. Unburn and boost me. <clears throat> Count up lead launches. Bop. Big time damage. That's big time damage. Now, the problem here is Sneasler could just fake out and KO me. Um, I could just go for Sucker Punch KO Salamence, which I think is going to be my play. I could also just go into a swap, because if you're going to fake out, I mean... Going into Gaston is pretty good. And I can save my Sneasler. I'm going to save my Sneasler. I think having fake out option is really good for us. And I think if you fake out anybody, it has got to be this Sneasler. I know you could go into, what's it called? I already know you can go into 
close combat. But yeah, okay, cool. We make the right call. Get a crit though. That's fine, whatever. Of course you got poison touch too. <laughs> Just poison my gash done. So there's that. That's fine. Sucker Punch is actually going to fail. What are you using here? Tailwind. Oh my lord. So now they got Tailwind boosted. Um Could be going for a close combat. I think we honestly just go into a sucker punch. We could sucker punch Sneasel, but it's gonna be not very effective. I think we end up just te terrestrializing and just terror blasting this Sneasel down. Actually, no, 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 no. Do you think we're going for sucker punch? You might even swap into somebody else. I'm gonna go into here, flying Terra, and I'm gonna go into Salamence. And the reason I want to go flying Terra is uh, close combat is really scaring me. From Sneasler, so I'm gonna do that. I think you can swap Salamence here as well. But you're not going to, you're just going to Terrasalize. And it's gonna be Sneasler. Sneasler is gonna get the Terra type. So Sneasler is gonna go into straight dark. Straight dark to kind of bypass a couple things. I mean, Earth Power is not gonna KO anymore. But I'm gonna Terrasalize myself. Because again, I do think Close Combat's probably flying out here. I still have Sneasler of my own. I probably could have Sucker Punched this turn. I mean, Flying Terror is looking pretty nice. We just gotta waste out some Tailwind turns. Just so my Unburdened Sneezer can really get after it. There's that. Psychic Fangs launch. We're able to soak it, no problem. Another crit. What is going on here? I got my Citrus Berry, though. The Sea Slug with the Citrus Berry. Pop it out here. So we Citrus Berry up. We could have Sucker Punched that turn. Close Combat does fly. Great Terror on our end. Still does... A lot. What is up with the crits? This has got to stop. This has got to stop. It's enough. And the RNG is unbelievably terrible for me right now. Unbelievably terrible. Oh my lord. Two poison touches. Three crits in a row. Fake out crit. Psychic fangs crit. Close combat crit. Sneasler's gonna take some nice damage. I could I might be able to sucker punch KO that. I might be able to sucker punch KO that. I'm poisoned. Trying to waste out Tailwind here. Um, I might be able to Sucker Punch KO that. And I think that might be my play. I might go for Sucker Punch here and yawn this slot right here back to Caliber. You could have Icicle Shard. How, oh my god. This game. Annoying me. I am going to try to KO the Sneasler. And I'm just going to yawn this back to Caliber. Oh my lord. He withdraws the Sneasler. Oh mm, my lord. This game. All right. So, that's got to be Zoroark, and this one's got to be real Baxcalibur. All right. The one on the right should be real Baxcalibur. Yep. Oh, no, it's not. The one on the right is... Is Zoroark. Please, poison don't okay at me. Oh, my lord. Yo, this match is terrible. Good swaps on their end. They dodged two sucker punches. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. But RNG, it's hurting the soul right now. All I got is... Oh, dude, this is awesome. This is awesome. We got three Bax Calibers on the field. That would have been sick if I had a Suing Zoroark and Illusion out. That would have been awesome. Bax Caliber party! It's a party! <laughs> it's a party! <laughs> Alright, so we know the one on the right is Zoroark. We already know that. Um, how many turns left in Tailwind? I think it's one. Which kind of sucks. I mean, Scale Shot could pop out here. So I'm going to do this, and honestly... He's going to go for Hyper Voice. I honestly could outspeed. <laughs> They're all just making back Skyward noises. Do you outspeed? That's the real question. I think you should. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I'm going to go Icicle Spear into the Hisuian slot. And I'm going to see if Close Combat can KO this back Skyward. Hopefully we outspeed. Ends up withdrawing that back Skyward. And he's gonna go into. You're gonna go into Sneasel. So we're gonna KO the Sneasel, which is great news. Real good news. And you actually outspeed me. You might be Choice Scarf. You might be Choice. That might be the problem here. Actually, Hisuian Zoro, it's actually. Mm, I don't know. I know you got Tailwind, but Unburdened, going crazy. I still Spear might even KO. Hold up. Hold up. Just give me a chance. It's not looking good for us because Sneasel can just close combat us. I still Spear Spear's gonna KO. Yo, back tower with Lotus Dice hits like a truck. Hits like an absolute truck. But yeah, this, a lot of Zoroks are choice a uh, scarf, so that could have been an option there. And just choice into that. The Zorok faints. 
Tailwind's gone. Only way I win this match is if Icicle, Ice, Ice Shard could KO. That's not even look good, because uh, you can fake me out here. We're still going to give it a try. Who knows? He might miss an attack. You never know. Something something weird could happen. But at least we had a Bax Caliber party in match number three. I like that. Close combat does fine. No fake out. You're outspeeding me. Like, this is game. This is game. I wish I had my terror. Ghost terror type would have rocked right now. Would have been awesome. But you know what? I'm going to keep my Bax Caliber alive. I'm going to keep him alive. And I'm just going to run this one. So, GG Sword Bonnet. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. So guys, another winning record added onto this channel. This team was so much fun. Bax Calibre with Loaded Dice, always going crazy, doing a ridiculous amount of damage with not only Icicle Spear, but with Scale Shot, two different stat moves, and then Storm Drain Gastron being a great Pokemon on today's team. We got to rip a few Earth Powers, pick up a few KOs. We didn't get to go up against any, like, boosting team, like... Don Dozo, but still, Gastron's still a solid Pokemon, being great alongside of all the other Pokemon on today's team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.